What's up WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee from Champions Chat and this is the next installment in your Should You Take Blank Six Star Gold Series. One of the more requested ones we've had actually is Shinsuke Nakamura King of Pop Style. And just know this is my account, not the Candy Store account. So this is as much a should you take as why did I take Shinsuke? six star gold on my personal roster a big part of that is the fact that he is a chaotic trickster i needed a chaotic to fill that class for boss battle to make sure i had all four uh types loaded you know and ready uh but also in the trickster category there's not a, a whole lot of tricksters that have scaled as well into six star gold and Shinsuke does a few pretty cool things. So uh, the first thing I would note to this is the moveset I'm going to use is entirely based around this plate. The last ride to hell. Whenever you make 15 or more trap gems, increase your green gem damage by 200%. That is his best move set. If you don't have this plate, there's other videos for that. Uh, but this one in particular is his best and brightest kind of setup. Then I've got the Honky Tonks Blues. Whenever you break green gems, make your blue MP reload. You could also do this one right here, the Glowing Phantom Power. Whenever you break purple, get green to help you load turn one a little bit easier in feuds because you're going to make the purple gems which are then going to cascade into green gems so it's all based around that this is the move set on the bottom 7 mp blue double underhook pile driver deal damage modify a 5 by 7 random area into trap gems if broken by your opponent which they shouldn't be deal damage and deal bleed damage for two turns if broken by you deal damage and make two random gems into leech gems of strength 324k so for boss battle again that's super great for reloading your health as much as possible then the inverted exploder suplex deal damage choose a five by two area to swap into purple the pin bar will not move and finally the flying kick deal damage make 41 random gems into green so I'm running the blue to green green to blue kind of a combination for the plate but again for feud you could run purple to green which would help you get loaded turn one with that move uh, you're doing a lot of things here though he's pretty good in feud if you can get him loaded turn one which you, you should with that trick he's great for boss battles that require trap gems green gems Leech gems, uh, you know, bleed if there's ever such a thing he'd be okay at. But then especially with this flying kick making 41 random green gems, he's great for stip tours, extreme rules, uh, just very, very, very versatile character all the way around. For your entourage, you're going to want to run Lawler to start loaded with blue moves. And then just a quick note, since this is my personal account, this is who you want to run is Razar, but I don't have him maxed out. So I've got him 17k. You actually want to get him to 26k. Green gems do 30% more damage. Blue moves start with two more MP. So then he's loaded turn one. And then moves that generate green gems will create five more. So you blow up the entire board. So this is one of my priority moves is to get him to six star bronze. Uh, other than that, you want your trap gems doing 100% more damage. And then as much green gem damage as you possibly can get. So let's see how he does here. Oh, and by the way, the reason his health is a little low is I was going up against Zombie Sammy in the first version of this, uh, first take of this video, and I forgot that Zombie Sammy steals your trap gem, steals your turn, and then subs you, so uh, it wasn't a good experience for anybody. It would have been like, oh, well, can't show that off. So instead, we're going up against a six-star gold Bronson Reed with 70 million health. That's a lot. So, you're going to lay down your trap gems. It's going to be random, so you don't know where they are going to go. You're going to put out your uh, purple gems here. If at all possible, if there's a pathway to guaranteeing you to reload your green gems, you want to take that. Not seeing it, you want to put it where you're going to break as many purples as possible. And then again, the glowing phantom would be the way to go. 
does not move the pin bar as you can see and i did uh reload not only the the purple or say the green move but also the blue moves which does happen quite frequently for this so you could go ahead and break more trap gems if you wanted to right here and just go ahead and get even more of that leech gem out there which is nice not only does the damage there but it also floods the board reloads you again and because i have that green to blue plate I could keep going and keep going. Now, these ones steal health, right? When you deal damage, if broken by you, turn into leech gems. So you want as many leech gems on the board as possible, which kind of what we have, rather than the trap gems, because they don't do as much. But then you're gonna make 46 random gems into green. So you've buffed your green gem damage because of the last ride plate. You could have buffed it again, which I didn't do on purpose. And so you've got uh, a hit of about, well, he was at 67 million. He's down to 35. So it was 32 million in one turn right there. So not your 60 million, but still pretty good. Let me see if I can get it to buff twice though now. So right now our green gems are at 113,000. So let's buff them one here. Let that go. See if we can't buff them a second time. We want to get this uh, blue mix right here to cascade as much as possible. Ah, it didn't work. Didn't work. So we didn't buff them a second time there. Well, let's see. Can we? Let's try it. Oh, we did it. All right, sweet. Uh, so now you can go ahead and buff them a second time. So the green gems, none of them are unoccupied. So uh, let's see here. Should show a lot higher than that. It's got to be a visual glitch. In fact, it should have triggered and, and doesn't seem to have the first time there. So let me see. There we go. Now they're showing 240. So see if we can buff them again. Um, uh, let's see if that doesn't make what I need. It did not. Dang. Oh, well. So you can see now we've got our gems, uh, plus all the leeches out, plus all the traps. And I, I know I took a little bit setting that up. It wouldn't normally take you that long. Full board blows up. You're loaded again. Another 24 million. So... He's hitting in the 25 to 30 million per turn run with this, but he's also buffing himself quite a lot. The leech gems and all the all the he does kind of there. So he stills back health, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So pretty decent. Um, so should you take King Pop style Shinsuke Nakamura to six star gold? If you have the last ride plate, yeah. He's a great slot for Chaotic for boss battle. Does really well as a Legends era trickster, which is a hard class unless you have Ali. And Ali doesn't scale as well to 6-star gold. And, I mean, in terms of damage output, he's not hitting 60 million turn 1 like some of your other guys. But he is hitting 30 and refilling his own health quite frequently. So you're not talking a turn 1 win in a lot of cases, but you are winning quite handily and with most of your health recharged. So I took him six star gold. It wasn't a question for me. Here's a video to you know send to your friends or faction mates if it's a question for them. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Like this video, subscribe to Champions Chat, and then send it over to your buddy who's going, should I take pop style King Nakamura to six star gold? This is how to help him. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.